Hey everyone, welcome back to my gaming channel. We are here in Londinian, and in a previous episode, we saw the truth of Terramorph. We saw how they are actually how they actually come to be. It's these heat leeches that's everywhere um, that gets converted via spores, and yeah, Adrian's cloned father, what the father's clone or whatever, she's a clone of her, her father that is, you know, well. anyway, he knew and that's why he bombed the place, and that's why he's a war criminal, and um, yeah, I have a feeling that we are going to fight the mother of all Terramorphs now, because it's, it was just behind a massive story reveal from one and behind a big locked um, door and the recording in the previous episode <coughs> excuse me said something about uh, what do you call it what's the thing well it, it gave a warning so <laughs> I feel like that warning uh, is justified and I think we're going to have one massive fight on our hand it moved. I'd be real careful out there if I were you. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, no. Eyes peeled. Uh, okay, I thought we would have been okay here. Let's see if we can wake it up. Oh heck, here it goes. I'm just gonna load so I don't waste my ammo. Um okay, so yeah, I think this is a correct weapon still. I am at full health. Just looking for vantage points. What did this switch do? Not a thing. Ah, come on, why can't I get up there? Seriously, no way to get up there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we all know what's coming, right? Yeah. Uh, well, 
let's just go for it. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> there sh we should have something. Um, projectile. Twenty percent damage. Yes, let's drink one of those. Damage. Range damage. Yes, please. What else? I hope time is paused. There we go. Reload already, why don't you? I'm not going to make it. Is my air going down so quickly? There's one right there! Kill it! I think it's trying to play. There. It's right there. No signal at full power. That should be the end of its connection to a Don't get in front of me, you dumb idiot! They're not coming after us. I guess. I guess we should grab that sample while we can. But this is a thermorph. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser, and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug. And find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. This is a Dermorph. Why is it not attacking? Well, I'm not complaining. I must say, I'm quite pleased with that. 
other weapon. Why am I? Oh, I'm full. Uh, what can I drop? That's why I'm. What can I drop? Um, resources. <coughs> What's heavy? Oh, coffee. Let's drop coffee. Uh, what to drop again? R. There we go. Ooh. Why is it Dermorph attacking? Well, <laughs> inaccessible. Okay, so we have to take the long route again. Okay, cool. No problem. I don't actually have a space to carry anything else, so yeah, let's not do that. Let, I in, let's not grab more stuff. Oh, that's why I don't want companions because they run in front of you. They take your kills. And obviously, we can't see anything again because we are in a lit up place. Excuse me. <clears throat> Weird way that they want us to go. But okay. Well, it's probably a different way as well. on the comms towards the end there but it sounded like this was a success got everything we need to put this plan in motion hopefully ah best place for them now my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there but do I have it right that they Victus knew about this damn plan that's what it sounded like <laughs> guess the old admiral must have told someone what he learned even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Ah, uh, you're right, couldn't have been involved with the attacks. I've <sighs> learned something, but I can't say anything more, I promised. Captain, he needs to know. Vey Victus is alive. Which means he could have been involved in the attacks. Alive? He's... Vey Victus? That can't be true, right? Unfortunately for us all, yes, it's true. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. I don't think it's him, though. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. 
Oh, he and I are going to have some words. <laughs> yep, I'll do what I can. He's not exactly trustworthy of his source. You really think it was him? Do you want to come speak to him with me? Captain, I truly don't. He's already shown he's taken an interest in you. I'll be a lot more useful in the lab right now than I would be grilling Francois. So do you think you could do it? Please? Yep. Good. <clears throat> we'll all meet back at Mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Are preserved. Great. Speak to the victors. Okay. Legacy Forge. Peacemaker is done. This one. Well, at least we got another level, so that's good. Yeah, no, definitely. Was a bad, bad um, thing that. Only 90. Anything I can help you with? Okay, can't we do the f oh come on. Should have done a quick save. I want to press F and then I press G and then I throw a grenade. Sometimes I want to throw a grenade and I press G but it doesn't do anything. <sighs> Seriously, is this where we're getting out? Okay, let me get there one second. Where are we? Okay, I think we're going straight down. Yep. I thought we might go speak to the council or something. But apparently not. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? He sounds smug. you discussing the use of thermos as weapons i know you've involved in attacking Tha city please stop your murder use did you well i don't know what you think you heard on this recording but i sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions after all given the cabinet's current state of anxiety they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean i could have been involved with the attacks perhaps i can convince you to keep this among us. So done what we learned. Consider it your chance to come clean. But I just want to know the truth, so you really don't know anything about the text. Is that what you're claiming? <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Hmm. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus Plant's pollen outside of Londinian. 
learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. I guess it's easy. Madman murder and you love to so deaf. To work on something that long it seems personal. No better way to show you see that deadly weapon they have in the last plan that to use it associate who have been working with. You can be more right. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak, and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Uh, no secret so dangerous that you can justify it. Uh, you just said it took you years from the... you killed them for nothing. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. Hmm. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team. And cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. Me. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. Uh. You. I thought he wanted to put the blame on me. Because of some sliding against your honor, you're sick. Uh, so I'm just a cleanup crew, you must think you're very clever. Always, why does that name sound familiar? Wasn't he the guy in the um, war, uh, Warhammer? Was it not a, that ship that we tried to take? Where is this from here? And why? Can't remember the many lives you've taken. Orlais was the man whose death you brought about oh, around the moon of the The man I had to... <sighs> Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. It's oh, why I again. had Orlais reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. Hmm. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Hmm. We're talking, if you're waiting to miss thank you, we're going to be here a while. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands. Maybe millions of lives. How so? I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlais and Orlais alone. 
After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Hmm. This one's with the cabinet, it'll be probably your loss, you know. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet. Fine, I'll make sure you think I'm just going to forget I'd kill people to accomplish your good works. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Hunting down criminals and other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free range once this is all over. You would help me like you did with Orlais. Track them down and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible, though, if the cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. Huh, what do we do here, guys? Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. Hmm. I honestly did not know. Okay, let's run back to Hadrian Percival, see what they say. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Uh... <sighs> this is a difficult one. Um, so either he confessed and they're going to lock him up, uh, or we're going to go with along with a lie. So we're attacks on the colonies. Captain? Yeah, I'm thinking. Captain, please, go on. Uh... Do what you have to. We'll be here. Yeah, let me save quickly. So. Okay, let's say he. Let's confess to her and see if he can tell the cabinet that it's good. To, to we can. He still has info. Let's see if we can I do that. I knew it. The second I. <laughs> Why? Uh, sorry, I should have. <laughs> he said he was trying to fix the damage done to his. It's an on name. My heroes. It's not worth recounting a man's. <laughs> It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. I'm sure he did. But he killed dozens of people. And I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Which mode of dealing with Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Both approaches to cleaning our walls are effective against the Leecher. What kind of risk are they? Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Otherwise, we're going to change our mind and lie. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. 
But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Thanks, Greg. It was a deliberate attack. Yes, but don't worry, we found a culprit. Uh. This report comes from a particularly confidential uh -huh. source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? Uh, that's correct. It was the right My time. God. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit uh. these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Is the whole truth for his help, but they Vic this organized attack. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling, considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat? with the Admiral. I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vavictus sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Uh, without whatever camera thinks is right course, ma'am, I would request this life be spared. He did help us against the most after all. Um, the thing is, I want him to uh, give us that information, so let's ask this one. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency, but I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Uh, right, I believe the other factions should be involved in the security. Nope. Security plan isn't enough. It should be wiped out. Yep. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. Hard for anyone to commit new attacks with a plant if we erase any trace, showing it and asking the free to help proves the UC has no ill intentions. Um, I'm shocked you don't want to destroy it. He's been planning to keep this for himself, so actually, yeah. And 
once Ve Victus has been dealt with, this problem can end here. And allow us to focus on the grander task to come. Very well. We'll clean up the plant. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. Oh, uh, come on. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. Mm. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the Captain has yet to weigh in. <laughs> I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. The silly is the safest route, that's my vote. The morphs have caused enough damage. Why but quickly do we need to do anything? Shouldn't strong lasers plants be sufficient? Nope. The sillies. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. Mm -hmm. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the <gasps> TND. Oh, I'm so honored. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens oh. to our ranks. They own a class one for the three of us. Are you? I don't joking? know what it means, but okay. What he means to say is, "Thank you, ma'am." Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So long as I'm getting paid, I'm happy. But take class myself. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. Okay, so we get a you penthouse. You all nice. have earned <clears throat> it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United States. Okay, get it over with. You is have long enough. serious gratitude. <laughs> this meeting is adjourned. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so let's call it an episode. <clears throat> Next episode, we will see what it is to be a class one citizen. Um, and then I think we need to look into um, crew, getting crew together for a spaceship. I mean, we're not running around. I like We're it going to do alone. everything in our power to make sure these Asili's are deployed yeah, 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 yeah. safely uh, and... I'm running around alone, I like that, because I don't want, then we don't have to shoot our companions and stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to look into... Well, not need to, I want to look into the, the, the outposts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you can look into that. I found a nice planet, as I said in the, in the previous episode. But for now, this episode is way too long. Sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!